This is down at Airbrush Gallery with another little short video. This is a motorcycle half helmet. It was gloss black. I scuffed it. I did my two designs that the customer wanted on there. I've covered them up. I've sprayed a little white in here. What I want is sort of like a ghost-like American flag. I figured I'd just show you this real quick. It's real simple to do. So I just sprayed a little white in here. I don't want it bright, bright, bright because it's going to be sort of ghost-like. For the stars, I cut them out on my vinyl cutter. Placed them where I wanted. If you don't have a vinyl cutter or don't have access to one, you can buy these uh, sticker stars in any hobby store. They work pretty good. Just be careful if you use solvent-based paint. Sometimes the glue from these stickers will stick to the surface. Just let the paint dry. Take some Prepsol, wipe over it, and the glue will come right off. But these are pretty handy if you don't have a vinyl cover. So we've scuffed it. We've got our designs here. We've got stars in place. And now what we need to do is cover this area in blue. And like I said, this is going to be a ghost-like flag. I, I don't want it real pronounced. So we're just going to take some tape. Running along the edge of the stars. Where you think is appropriate. Make sure there's no wrinkles for paint to get under. We'll just take another piece of tape to help control the overspray. A little hard to do, not being able to... Keeping the helmet in the camera and not being able to see it. We'll get her done. Hope you had a good weekend. It's a Monday. We'll stick this on there to help control the overspray. Like I said, turn the back side of the tape up. Just pull the edge up a little. And it'll keep the blue from getting where we don't want it to be landing in areas we don't want. Make sure everything's stuck down nicely. Then we're just going to take some dark blue. And spray it over the, where we have the stars. We painted it white first, we put these stickers on, we pull the stickers off, we have white stars, bingo. Done. Quick, fast, and simple. I don't want the blue to be real pronounced. Again, it's sort of going to be like a sort of ghosted flag. That's probably good. Now what we're going to do is pull our tape off. You can see where it caught the blue. Control the overspray a little. You can chuck that. Now we're going to come back on the blue with some tape and back tape it. So when we Add our red, we're not getting it into the blue. Looks good. 
Take some more tape to help control the overspray. You could use transfer tape and tape it all up if you want. But this works for me. I call this bubble gum art. It's Christmas time. Everybody wants stuff done for Christmas. Next, we're going to lay out our stripes. Really doesn't matter where. How I'm going to do this is I'm just going to use the width of the tape to measure the stripes on my flag. So this one's going to be white. We'll put two more down. Add a third one. Pull the first two off. And this one's going to be red. This one will be white. Add another piece of tape. Two more temporary ones, just for measuring. And one we're going to leave on to cover the white. We'll pull the two off where we wanted the red in this area. And we'll cover the last white stripe on the side. It's a quick and easy way to measure. Now all the stripes will be basically the same width. It's a quick and easy way of getting it done without getting a ruler and messing around with all that stuff. Again, this is what I call bubble gum art. You got to paint within somebody's budget. You got to do, you know, you have to look at how much time you're spending on it. Now we're just going to take the red and we're going to spray it in that direction to help control the overspray to keep it off the blue. Again, I don't want it real pronounced, I sort of want it ghost-like. Get the other red stripe. Make sure you're spraying away from the blue. You don't want any red in your blue now. So now we have our red stripes. Now we're going to take some black, the same color as the base of the helmet. As soon as I get an airbrush to do it, sorry. These aren't really the right airbrushes to be doing this with, but it's what I have hooked up at the moment, so we'll make do. And underneath where the white stripe is going to be, I'm going to put some black to help define the white stripe. Black is going to be the end base color of the helmet. So. Now we pull our tape off the white stripes. Now we have red and white stripes evenly spaced. We'll take our black again, clean up the back end of these. We'll 
pull my tape off the front. Red, white, red and white stripes. Or vinyl off, and there you have white stars. So whether you use vinyl and a vinyl cutter or those hobby stick sticker star stickers, it works out good. It's a simple, fast American flag. Again, if you're airbrushing for a living, you have to work within people's budgets. Some people are willing to pay you more than others. You don't go to the dentist and get two fillings for the price of one. You can't do it in airbrushing either. You've got to keep track of your time and material. You need to get paid what you're worth, what your materials are worth. It'd be nice to be able to do a... $10,000 job, job for everybody, but not everybody has that budget, so you need to work within budgets. So there you have it. Red, white, and blue. You got your stars. Done deal. It's that simple. It's that fast. Just get, if you have a vinyl cutter, you cut your stars out. If you don't, you can buy the stars from a hobby store. They work fine. Pull the masking off the two designs in the end. Do a little more cleanup, clear it, and it's done. This is Don Johnson, Airbrush Gallery. Until next time, it's just paint. Have fun, relax. I hope you all have a great holiday. Thank you.